just first and foremost, how tough is this loss here today? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a wild loss. Um, <clears throat> I mean, going into the ninth with that lead, having to make a throw on the ball so well, and then Chad Green, who's been probably one of the best relievers in, in the entire entire league the past like month or two. Um, I mean, it's tough. And I mean, part of what makes baseball beautiful, you know, you can't kneel the ball and run out the clock. You have to get your final out. It's also kind of what makes it hurt today. But we still won the series. I thought it was overall a really good road trip for the guys. And uh, I think we need to remember that side of it. I know you'd like to get the win today, obviously, but singularly, the last couple of starts for you, I, I, we've been talking about this the past couple of days with you, too, your journey throughout the first half. Where are you, and can you give us a little assessment physically and mentally as we hit the break here? Yeah, yeah. I thought for the first maybe 10 or so starts, I was kind of just feeling my way through it, kind of hoping I would do well, just checking out the new delivery, seeing how my stuff played. Um, not a ton of confidence just because I didn't have a string of good starts. Um, but that being said, I, I always had something to work on throughout the first half. There were always things I thought I could get better at, which I was a pitcher and as a guy who's process oriented, I thought that was kind of nice. Like I knew, you know, off in the distance, I could, I could throw the ball well if I worked on these things. Um, after the Philly start, I felt like I kind of put my foot down, uh, made some adjustments. I went back and revisited some information with our staff, uh, talked with Gary, put our heads together. And I, I feel like ever since then, it's been a little better, been pitching a lot more aggressively and stuff. So, um, definitely a lot of good to take from the last four or five starts. And how much has it been? You talked yesterday about the fastball helping the curveball, those two pitches helping your slider. Is that what's been making you so successful over these last four? Yeah, I think, I mean, my first 10 starts, I could probably count on two hands how many curveballs I threw to right handed hitters. I was mostly fastball slider. Um, so I've been throwing that to righties also now. I still don't throw it quite as much, but. I think that's kind of helped the heater play a little better. That's helped the slider play a little better. And then to the lefties, being more fastball curveball, I've started throwing more changeups. I've gotten some quick outs there. I got one from Tucker today. I got a 2-0 out on uh, Brantley. I got a quick out on Alvarez. Um, so just having that as a weapon to put into a, a really good left-handed hitter's head is, is good for me. Thanks, James. Can you go next to Randy Miller? Jameson, I know you weren't here in... 19 when the Astros uh, beat the Yankees, but you know by now what your teammates in New York thinks of El Tuve. Does it, does it sting more when he's the guy that uh, gives you guys that dagger and then on the field he's running around with his jersey uh, ripped off, you know, half naked, which is a retaliation with Judge did last night, uh, which was a retaliation to the, the buzzer accusations. Uh, what's your thoughts yeah. on that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can't even, you couldn't have written down a more crazy script for, for a game to end today. I mean, with it being Altuve, I know the history here. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it makes it hurt anymore or less. Just this loss sucks, but uh, definitely wild that Altuve comes through in that spot. And as far as the jersey thing goes, I, there was some back and forth all weekend with the homers and whatever. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I think it hurts enough. I don't really care what he's doing over there, you know, 